Hi, my name is John Byrne and welcome to the IBD School 400 series. In this video, IBD School 406 will be talking about iliorectal anastomosis. Iliorectal anastomosis is a procedure in which the entire colon is removed and the small intestine is then sewn to or hooked up to the rectum. This hookup is called an anastomosis. Often, if not usually, we don't actually sew it, we staple it. Iliorectal anastomosis can help patients who have Crohn's disease that affects their whole colon, but not the rectum or much of the small bowel. It is also commonly used for non-Crohn's patients who have cancer-related polyposis syndromes or even severe constipation. An IBD patient who undergoes this surgery will get relief of their colitis symptoms without needing a stoma bag. The removal of the colon in this surgery is technically simpler than that in the procedure for a J-pouch or a stoma. So there is a lower risk of complications resulting from the surgery itself, mainly because leaving the rectum in makes for a safer, simpler surgery. It is important to understand that when the colon is entirely removed, a patient's body can no longer absorb the water out of the small bowel juices as they normally do. The colon's main job is this absorption, taking the water out of the watery fluids of the digestive system and turning it into poop. With an ileorectal, the patient will be essentially having diarrhea or at least frequent bowel movements. Patients may need to go to the bathroom 8 to 10 times a day and sometimes at night. Patients should not experience incontinence but may experience urgency. For some Crohn's patients, this may not be that different than how they normally are when they have an inflamed colon. But without that sick colon, they should have less pain, less weight loss, and better quality of life even with the same frequent bowel movements. Also, we can use medications like Imodium to help thicken the stool and decrease the frequency of the bowel movements and that can be very effective. Like every surgery, there is still risk of infection. From small infections like those of the urinary tract or infections of the wounds where surgery was performed to bigger infections inside the abdomen where we did the surgery. These infections are abscesses and leaks and usually happen while a patient is still recovering from surgery in the hospital. There are many benefits to undergoing an ileorectal anastomosis. However, patients who elect for this surgery must set realistic expectations for how their bowel function is going to change after the surgery. Choosing between this procedure and other surgeries like a stoma or a J-pouch is all about balancing your priorities and specific lifestyle goals, especially when these procedures are elective. To learn more about the procedures behind the J-pouch or the stoma, please check out our videos IBD School 407 on the J-pouch and IBD School 414 on ostomies. I'm John Byrne and thank you for watching IBD School.